Hello everyone, welcome to Sydney's Road to Success. In this video, we are finally gonna be able to do the Moterm Lux Croc wallet unboxing and doing our new wallet setup. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, please stay tuned. Okay, so I think it's been like two months since I ordered this, but I finally have the package for the wallet. I just kind of taped and covered some um, personal information there, but I finally have the wallet. So we're gonna be unboxing that. In my frame, I just kind of have the original wallet that I've been using for a while and just some of the envelopes that I started to prepare. And then I'm going to show you how I make the next two, the next three. I think I have three more remaining wallets to do um, or pockets for the wallet. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm just going to move these out of the way for a little bit and move this out of the way as well. We'll keep this. Okay. And let's begin. I'm so excited. I've been seeing these wallets online for some time now and I just haven't uh, been able to get my order in, but we finally have it. I got the black, the black Lux Croc version and it came all the way from China. I ordered it through AliExpress because at the time that's what was um, available. I'm gonna move this out of the way as well. I don't want to damage anything. Uh, I'm super excited. Okay, let's see. I want to make sure there's. Okay, so there's a package, uh, a paper, sorry. Okay, that's just the invoice slip. I'm so excited. Okay, there are. I don't know what that one is. Okay, so here we have it, Moterm. I hope I'm saying that right. I believe I am. So this is the Moterm package. I'm gonna break through this without damaging anything else because I do want to keep the box. I'm just that type of person who wants to keep, who keeps the, the original boxes. Oh my gosh. This is quite the experience. Okay, so here it is. I was so close. I think I already started like to make a dispute on AliExpress because it's been it was over two months, which was like I think a month and a half longer than the expected delivery. Here it is in this like I believe it's like kind of like a suede pouch. Hope you guys can see that. Just in this suede gray suede pouch it says Moterm. Oh, so in here as well. We have one of the divider pieces. It's so cute. And then that's basically all that's in this box. Keep this here. So that's what we have. So this. I like my candle, but it's kind of a bit risky, so we're gonna kind of move it a little bit out of the way. Uh, let's see. So, when we open it up, we are presented with the actual wallet. I am so excited, oh my gosh. So this is what it looks like on the front. This is it on the back. Let me just, let me get this in your view, guys. Here we go. This was uh, with tax and everything in Canadian dollars. This was sixty-four dollars, I believe, sixty-four or sixty-five. Okay. These are the little notepads that it comes with. Okay, and then here we have. I have the thirty millimeter silver rings. We have this protection sheath as, well, or whatever it is. I'm just gonna remove that. Okay, I believe it weighs 0.5 kilograms. I'm gonna check my sources. I believe it, yeah, 0.5 kilograms. So this is what it looks like. Girl, you can adjust kind of how, depending on kind of how thick it is, you can adjust the straps there to fit. I love the quality. I believe it is, on the site it said top leather, uh, top, Layer is leather, and then there's the cruff grain leather. So those are the two types of material. Um, so that kind of is 
one of the biggest appeals is the leather. It's a very sought after product. And as you can see why, it's very versatile, it's very unique. It has the zipper pouch for the coins over here. For the coins. I thought of making a coin um, a coin section as well, but I just didn't. Um, I may not just because I already have this pouch. There's also a little, I don't know what you call this section here. Um, and then there's the section for the bills as well. You can't really see. I'm going to bring it up closer for you guys. But there is, there are, so we have, I guess this could, this could be a card section as well if you wanted to. I don't think it would be this one here. But so one, two, three. So yeah, just three pouches here. Plus we are going to be unboxing this divider. And then it comes with a pen holder as well. This is so great. How would I like this? Let's see. I feel like it goes like this. I feel like it goes like that in there. Okay, I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm going to try and... So these are the 30 millimeter rings. You can also purchase online um, different sizes if you prefer. I wanted, okay, so I wanted the Luxe Croc version because one, I wanted a different pattern. I love the, the Croc pattern here. It's very different, it's very nice. And then the Luxe model also comes with more pouches for your cards. I have so many cards that I wanted to make sure I had enough to fit everything. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it has two pen holders, one here and one here. It says the Moterm logo right there. I love this so much. So there is also a regular version, which is a bit, um, it's not as wide, and it's a, lit, a, a little bit more flimsy, I would say, like less firm than this one. But I purchased this one because I wanted the bigger rings, I wanted the bigger space because I have so many pouches or I intend to use so many pouches that I just wanted it to fit everything without worrying. So this is what we have there with the memo pads. I haven't decided if I'm going to put these in yet um, because I have all of these pockets to insert as well which will be filled with bills and everything so if I have extra room then I'll put the, the memo pads in. Okay. All right, so that is just the overall, a quick review and just unboxing of the Moterm wallet. Okay, so we're gonna get into setting up our new wallet. I'll put the dimensions and other information on the screen and I'll also put it down below in the description box with the link of where I got it and everything so that you guys have that information. Again, I'm not a big reviewer on wallets, so this is just my own version. So I wanted to provide you with kind of the basics um, information about it um, if you guys were also interested in buying one yourself it comes in so many different colors there's pink there's gray there's black which is my go-to as you can see with my other wallet <laughs> that I had earlier um, so yeah that's basically it I'm also gonna definitely keep this pouch it's too cute to throw away so we're gonna keep that I'm gonna move this out of the way because I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna design and set up my new wallet. Let's bring this down. <laughs> so let me grab my new one. Okay, and this is also um, A7. So if we compare it to my sinking funds binder, this one is the A6 binder, and then this one here is the A7. Okay, so. So this is my old wallet I purchased on Amazon for about $20. As you can see, I like the black. And then this is my new one here. I just cannot get over how versatile, how cute it is. There's three additional pockets in this divider as well, so that makes six. And then two pen holders. So. I'm going to just move this out of the way just a little bit so you can see... Um, what I've already prepared here. So let me grab 
I'm going to show you guys my old. I'm going to show you guys what I've been working with. Okay, so. Also, it's raining outside, so if you hear any sort of like pitter patter, it's obviously the rain. So, I made a deposit and a withdrawal slip. It hasn't really been um, debuted in some of my videos, but I have made these a few, like a year or two ago. These are the main cash envelopes that I have been using for my groceries, for my gas, for shopping, dining out, and giving. So those were my main envelopes, but I've noticed, I got these on Etsy, um, and a disclaimer, the owner no longer sells these. So that was one reason, but the main reason is that I wanted to have something that's more secure, that doesn't open um, from one side. I like the pattern of these A7 pockets, plastic pockets. And this past week, it's kind of been breaking apart. Like I, I had to tape this one. So it's just been breaking apart a little bit. So I figured now would be the time to uh, yeah, five um, upgrade into my my new wallet. I've been wanting this. I ordered it two months ago. So I've been wanting this, and I've ordered this also when I ordered the Moterm wallet. This came in two weeks, um, whereas the wallet actually came in two months. So this is what we're basically going to be transferring over. I won't show you every single card in my wallet, but I'll just give you an overview. So my plan, I have, I believe, 10 pockets that I wanted to organize. The first one, I have my groceries, which you've seen already, my previous groceries one. So I have groceries. Let me see what we're going to do. I'm going to move this out of the way. So I have groceries. I have gas. I have shopping. I have dining out, giving, my rewards, which will be like a mixture of my rewards cards, deposit, any money that I want to deposit, and then some other ones I wanted to do were, um, so I did deposit, I'm going to do withdrawal, and I'm also going to do receipts. So I have three, I think I'm going to take out the one I was going to do for coins. So we just have withdrawal and receipts to do. Again, if you hear if you hear noises as well, it's also my desk chair, so excuse that. So this is what we've had done, and then we're just I'm going to show you two that I've um, the next two that I'm going to do. How I'm going to be doing that is using the what's it called? I'm going to be using this Dymo label maker, and I want to show you the package as well. All right, so I wanted to show you the Dymo embossing label maker. So this is what the actual packaging looks like. I just recently took it out to make some of the new labels. This is what it looks like. I think it was it was less than $20 on Amazon. Amazon is one of my favorite places to get products and stuff. So this is a Dymo one. It had decent reviews. It's super simple to use, like super simple. Um, these are the options. When you come, when you open the packaging, it has one that's already there. So, and it's set to this setting here, which is to cut. So you just push the handle and then it cuts it and you remove that one. Um, how I set my labels is I just turn it to the space first before I start writing the, the names of the, the labels or the categories. Um, and then I write whatever name that I wanted to do. And then I cut, I make a space and then I cut it again. So. I'm going to show you exactly how I do two. So the next one that I wanted to do was withdrawal. So how I do this and already the the tape that it comes with is black. I believe you can purchase other colors if you want online. It shouldn't be too expensive. So what I do is help you. I'm trying to get it without the glare. So I do a space and I push. The harder you push, the better it kind of comes out. But again, be pretty gentle because it's not the most highest, it's not the highest quality embossing label maker. So we are going to, just one second. Yes, okay. So we're gonna start with a space. You can see a little bit of the black pops up. Now I'm gonna go to my W. 
just keep turning it. W. You don't see it there, but it is there. Just trust that it <laughs> put it out properly. I. Oh, as you can see, so as you can see, I didn't push hard enough so the W didn't come out. What I'm going to do is just go backwards. I'm just going to cut it and just pops out and I'm going to redo it. So let's try that again. Hmm, sorry. Ah, okay. I'm going to start with space. I can see there's black now. Okay. W. Push hard enough. I. T. H. Kind of a bit tedious but in my opinion oh, it flies out in my opinion it's worth it it's worth the time so that's what if you can see that's what it comes out as withdrawal and then there's a little side piece here where you can just peel it sometimes it doesn't cut all the way so <laughs> that's my only bad thing about it is it doesn't cut all the way so I just cut a little oh. <laughs> I was supposed to cut a little slit but it doesn't always work so I just kind of peel it myself with my nail just once so I peel it enough if I don't get a good cut I peel it enough so that I can peel it myself and then it's sticky on the back so that's perfect you grab what you're going to be using and you just stick it on That's what it looks like. Okay, and I'm gonna do the next one. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit more. Um, Okay, so I also took the liberty to just already pop the, I'm just going to adjust this, okay, um, to already pop out the little holes for the A7 pockets. And now we're just going to put them into the wallet. Okay, it's very sturdy, I can tell you that. Might as well do one at a time. <laughs> the exact number of little rings to fit this. Gosh, it's gonna look so good. I didn't want to get a color something colorful because I wanted it to match any purse that I had. So that's why I stuck to the black and I didn't want just the regular one because I wanted to change the pattern, give it something different. Okay, so let's see how much room that is. I don't want it to be too... Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. Okay, maybe we'll add some of the memo pads. Maybe not all of them, but just, just a few of these memo pads in there. So 
hard to have. It's very hard to open sometimes. It doesn't hurt to have a few of the memo pads in there. Okay. And I can always save these and I can put the date whenever so it basically can be years from now if I don't use them and stuff like that, which is fine. Okay, so that's that. Move this a little bit. Okay. Now we're just gonna put the money. So in my upcoming videos, I'm gonna be doing my budget, my biweekly budgeting, and I'm gonna be doing my cash stuffing. So if you want to know kind of the amounts I have. Um, saved or see how I stuff my amounts and things like that <laughs> just stay tuned for my other videos coming up so okay so groceries I don't have anything to put in there for gas I know I have a 20 and my gas card to put in so that's what we're gonna be doing I don't want to be showing my card <laughs> okay so next we have shopping, which I know I have uh, Okay, I'm just gonna cover that. So for shopping, it's just six dollars left. For dining out. Oh wow, I <laughs> have 35 cents. For giving, I don't have anything to put. I used that. I used giving this week or the past two weeks. Rewards, I have a bunch of rewards cards, so let's see. Let's see what we have. Mm -hmm. If you're Canadian, maybe you'll recognize some of my rewards cards, but I'm just gonna quickly put them in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to see what I have. Okay. Okay, I think. Those are basically all of them. I also have a gift card, so this is what we have. So I have seven bucks. But okay, I'm just gonna cover this up. Okay, deposit. Let's see what we have to deposit. I think I have fifty dollars to deposit to my bank. I'll explain that in my videos coming up. Okay, it's gonna be very puffy. Withdrawal, nothing, and receipts, nothing so far. seems to be a little puffy a little puffy but it's fine next I have some other cards um, some of them are bank cards and private cards so I'm just gonna put that in later I also have some coins it's probably from my shopping but I'm just gonna put it in the coin just the coin section because I want to use it okay what that looks like okay so this is a quick little afterthought I also noticed that it has a bunch of full-length card slots right here so if you were to put you can put your card lengthwise if you'd like so there's uh, one slot two three four and five so that's an additional five slots and I believe the other 
yeah that other little pouch in the front is um not for lengthwise but these ones in the back are so that's extra compartments which is more than enough so just wanted to add that in there that's basically it for the mo term i'm gonna br bring the box okay so that is it for the mo term quick review and unboxing and new wallet setup thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my other videos that are coming up on the channel give it a like if you enjoyed watching comment down if you have any sort of comments and of course subscribe if you enjoyed watching my content and look forward to seeing more of my other content so thanks so much for watching and take care.